What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a full body mobility routine to get you moving better. Mobility differs from flexibility in the sense that we're gonna be using and strengthening through range of motion. So the exercises will be slightly different. All you're gonna need for this routine is some time, some space, a stick, ideally to perform one of the exercises. And then from there, you're just kind of good to go and we can start moving and grooving. To start this routine, we're gonna use some spinal articulation starting at the top of the spine, the cervical spine with the head. So we're gonna find forward, we're gonna find back, we're gonna find side, then we're gonna find our other side, and then to make a circle, we're just gonna string them all together. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna perform five reps in each direction, circling the neck. You wanna start with smaller circles as you feel comfortable, you can make those circles bigger. You want to imagine like you have a piece of string on the top of your head and that string is pulling you off the top of your spine around in this direction. That should help with any sort of clicking or crunching that you might experience. We're just gonna do five reps, so it's gonna be one more. Try to make those circles as big as you feel comfortable and we're gonna reverse that direction. So we're gonna do five circles in each direction. So you're gonna stretch and mobilize various aspects of the neck because we're moving through completely 360 degrees. So just a couple more circles in this direction. And that is it. We're now gonna go down a little bit. We're gonna focus on the thoracic. So we're gonna think about the sternum. And again, we're gonna find forward. So we're gonna push our sternum forward. We're gonna find back, we're gonna hollow out that chest. We're gonna find side. We're gonna find our other side. And we're just gonna string them together. I'm going to make circles with our chest. So imagine like your sternum, the central part of your chest, that is making and drawing a circle around your body. So we're going to do five repetitions in each direction. So on three, four, five. By the way, you can do this extra routine if you want to do stood up. I'm doing it sat down just for the sake of filming. But standing up is probably a little bit better and you'll start introducing the movement throughout your entire body as well. So we're going to do a few in this direction, remember five in each in total. Again, this isn't a set number. If you want to do, you can do 10, you can do two, whatever feels comfortable. So the last joint articulation we're going to do, I'm going to come to my knees so I can give myself a little bit more space, but we're just going to do circles with the shoulders. So basically we're going to find up, shrug our shoulders up, we're going to find down, push our shoulders as far to the floor, and find back, we're going to find the other side, and we're going to start stringing them together in circles. And again, five repetitions in each direction. Nice and slow, move those shoulder blades backwards and forwards. The reason I like joint articulations is it's just great to bring more awareness to movements that you're gonna do. I actually do these every single day in the morning. I just think it's a nice way to start off flexibility or mobility routines. I'm just gonna reverse that motion. Right, this is when you're gonna to wanna to grab your stick. So we're gonna come onto our front, we're gonna lie down, extend that stick over in front of us, and we're gonna do some prone dislocate. So the wider you go with your hands, the harder it's gonna be. We're gonna lift it up into max flexion, internally rotate the shoulders, and then we're gonna let it go all the way back so it touches our bum, and we're gonna reverse that motion. So here, it's gonna be harder the closer you put your hands together. So start wide, and then once you feel like your shoulders may be opening up, you can then move the hands in a little bit closer. We're going to form this for five repetitions. So another couple, lift the shoulders, internally rotate as far as you can. And reverse. So we're just going to do one more here. Should feel a nice stretch in your chest, into your biceps. It's just great for opening up the shoulders, this one. We're going to grab a stick in a supinated, so palms facing towards you position, closer to shoulder width. We're gonna edge out our, shoulder, our elbows and we're gonna come down into what is called a prone butcher's block. So here, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna push my shoulders into the ground whilst bending my eyes and holding onto the stick. I can then move my hands out slightly on the stick so it forces external rotation. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and think about sucking my chest in and pushing my sternum to the ground. Then you should find you get quite a nice stretch in the lats. If you're not getting a stretch in the lats in this position, we can do exactly the same stretch, but we do it on our knees. 
So we come to our knees, put our elbows in the position, and then we try to push our chest towards the ground. Either works, all is good. We're just gonna hold this position for about 30 seconds. We really should try and be flexing that thoracic spine. Just keep trying to push that chest towards the ground and then that stick forces us to keep our hands in place. All right, so we can chuck the stick to one side now. Then we're gonna come into a plank position, just a nice straight arm plank. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press up into downward facing dog. From here, we wanna to push two of our shoulders Push our chest into the ground. We're gonna slide on down into upward dog. And what's nice about this, we're gonna move from full shoulder flexion, so here. Great for overhead position and stretching the hamstrings. We're gonna slide down into full extension. So we're gonna be squeezing our shoulder blades together, opening up our chest, and getting some good extension in the spine. We go back. We do five repetitions of these. So it's three, four, last one, five, and come back onto our knees. We're just going to work a little bit of rotation of the spine. So we're going to place the right hand on your head. You're going to touch your elbows together. And then you're going to extend and twist as far as you can and open up. We're going to do five repetitions on each side. And I keep going all the way down. And then just twisting as far open as we can. Four, five. So I swap hands. So left hand on your head, twist in, rotate around. Just two. Just twist around as far as you can. Three, four, and last one. Five. Awesome. So that's kind of hit our upper body pretty well. Come around into a resting squat. If you can't get a resting squat, then you can sit down on a chair. Or just go down as far as you can. What we're gonna do here is gonna put a hand to one side. We're gonna let the legs drop into a figure four position. And then from here, we're gonna push back up with a hand into a squat. I'm just gonna go down to the other side. Sink down, keeping the chest nice and tall into that figure four. Push back up sink back down. So I'm gonna repeat this for five repetitions on each side. So that's two. If you wanna be really badass, you can try and not do it without your hand. It takes a little bit more strength for a weird range of motion. So on three, do a couple more on each side. All we're gonna do is when we get to the last rep of this, so this is one more on each side, we're gonna do what's called a four position lift. So when we get into this figure of four position, we're just gonna try and stand up, push our hips forward, sink our hips back, and we're gonna repeat this. If you can't quite sink your hips all the way back down, just go as far as you can. You might wanna use your hand to assist for the first bit. So we're gonna do five repetitions of these. So I've done three, push back up, four, four, do one more, five. And we go back into that figure four position, push back into the squat, and repeat that same thing on the other leg. So lift up. You can use a hand to assist if it's a little bit challenging for you. This is gonna be great for building external and internal rotation at the same time. So a couple more reps. Last one, five. Back into the squat. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to go a little bit wider of our squat. I'm going to do a Cossack squat now. So we're going to sink down onto that right leg. As soon as you can't get any further, turn that toe up. I'm going to pause at the bottom, push back up, go to the other side. 
you might want to have to adjust where your foot position is here. So it's a bit harder. If it's a little bit closer, you're gonna to have to require a bit more flexibility. So just find where it feels comfortable. You can slide from side to side. You can rest with your hands on the floor as I'm doing. Just kind of moving in and out of that position. So on three, again, we're gonna do five reps per side with this one. Three there, another one, four. You can also get an anchor point so you can hold onto a chair or something here. This will make this exercise a little bit harder, or easier, sorry. So do one more on each side. Again, nice gentle pause. So you're gonna come from this last Cossack squat and twist into a lunge position. From here, we're gonna push our feet out as far as we feel comfortable. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up into a lunge position and slowly go back down. Here, what's important to think about is engaging the glute, extending at the hip, and opening up that hip flexor. So we're gonna do five on these each side. We get to that fifth rep, we're just gonna pause for about 10 seconds, thinking about really extending this hip, pushing the hips forward and opening it up. Keep holding for five or 10 seconds. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna swap sides, so come to the other side, this is right foot forward in this lunge. Knee comes back on the toes, lift, and then go back down. It's a bit of a weird movement to get your head around, but it is fantastic for opening up those hips in an active way. Three, four, last one, and then to hold for 10 seconds or so, five. The idea here is to try to be straightening that back leg. And then come back up, shuffle those legs in, and then we're gonna do what's called a good morning. So here, keep our legs straight, engage the quads, you know, stick the hips out, hinge at the hips, you know, as far as we can, keeping a neutral spine. Pause, and come back up. So keep a neutral spine, bring the belly button in, stick the hips out as far as you can. If you can, you can try and push your arms forward, makes it a little bit more intense. Bring the legs back up. You need five reps of these, nice and slow down. Really focus on hinging at the hips. If you only get to about 40 degrees, that's fine. Wherever you feel that stretch, push those hips back, pause, come back up. So that's three reps. Four, legs must be straight, but actively lock, keep those quads engaged. Last one. Hips back, arms forward max range, and then we're gonna come down into a relaxed pike position. From here, we're gonna form some twists. So we're gonna to twist to our left-hand side as far as we can, swing back round, twist to our right-hand side. Pause briefly on each, and just keep swinging round and sinking deeper. So we're gonna do five repetitions on each side. So this is three, Another one, last one on each leg. And that is basically the routine. You can finish up with a squat or maybe something like Ido's squat routine. But that is basically head to toe mobility. I'm gonna call this more of a workout than a routine. That was actually kind of hard. I've got a bit of a sweat going here. Um, but it's certainly a little bit fun. It kind of flows nicely together. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this routine, hit that thumbs up button. Right next to it is that subscribe button if you don't wanna miss out on any more future follow along videos. And if you wanna grab the old follow along videos on the channel, I'll link to a playlist down below. Why not leave a comment, join the conversation, let me know what you thought of this follow along routine. It maybe was a little bit more on the advanced end. If you want a beginner mobility routine, then just let me know in the comments and I will make it happen. But that has been it for this week, guys. Have a strong week and peace.